Ariel Hawani in Houston, Texas for UFC 192 alongside Johnny Hendricks who meets Tyron Woodley this Saturday live on pay-per-view. Johnny, before we get to the fight talk, I do believe congratulations are in order. Yeah, Another yeah, yeah. young lady is coming into the Hendricks household, right? I uh, don't know yet. You know, uh, it could be a girl or a boy. Okay. You know, good Lord willing, I'm not, I, I really don't care. I'm just, you know, more than anything, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm super excited. You know, I love my wife. So whatever it is, I don't care. I just pray for a, a healthy baby and a, and a healthy pregnancy. Absolutely. Well, I wish you guys the best. It's funny how all you wrestlers, though, end up with the girls. Why do you think that is? I think it's just because we work out so hard. Okay. You, know, you know what I mean? And, and there's like science, you know, science or whatever proves that, you know, the hotter your body is, certain things happen, and you're more likely to produce girls. Um, and... I, mean, I wouldn't trade my three in for anything in the world. And now that it, you know, I'm the fourth one is finally able to. We we made it past the 12 week mark, you know. Yeah. So so now I'm super. Man, I, I'm just so excited. You know, now that I can, the world can know that my wife is having another one. I'm super super excited. Well, again, congratulations. So this is a big fight for you, and uh, you've said all the right things leading up to it. You know, you, you don't care about the title shot anymore. You're not going to worry about all that. When did you make that switch? Because the last time I spoke to you in July, you were very adamant that that's what you wanted next. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much probably a two, oh, I'm not going to lie, maybe about a week after I found out the decision. Mm. You know, as soon as I found out the decision, I was like, you know, I was pissed off for a little bit, not going to lie. And then I was just like, you know what? What can I do? You know, there's nothing I could do, nothing I can say that's going to get me back in there. Um, and I'm not going to start changing my, the way I hold, carry myself to get it. Hey, Ty Tyron Woodley's a tough opponent. Uh, I'm super excited to be in there and, and, and be able to fight him. And, uh, you know, now it's just, hey, take, uh, you know, I was saying the whole time, I'm going to start doing it the cowboy way. I'm just going to start knocking everybody off. You know what I mean? Uh, Take care of everybody sooner or later. There's nobody else. Robbie can't run no more. It's going to be me. Tyron went on this campaign to get this fight, yes, even bringing back your wrestling match back in 2005. Do you chuckle at all of this? You're like, this guy's almost obsessed with the idea of fighting me and avenging that match. No, what do you make of it all? The last guy I fought that obsessed over me, even when he went to the bathroom, he thought of me. Remember that, George? He was talking about all that crap. You know, it just makes it more, more fun for me because, hey, if he's, if he's fantasizing over me that hard, then uh, that means they're really worried what I can do. You know, and that means that just builds confidence for me. Has it been weird for you to sort of conjure up the old memories of you as a wrestler, Big 12 championship? I mean, that was a decade ago. Yeah. No beard, yeah. longer hair, no kids. What's it been like having to relive that all over again? You know what? Uh, relive it? I, I really don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's hard for me to remember something I don't, you know, I remember my college days. I remember wrestling him, but I don't remember what happened. Uh, you know, so, so realistically, I haven't relived it. I, I'm the type of guy that once it hits in the past, it's in the past. You know, move forward, always move forward, always get better. You know, improve yourself. Um, so whenever he brought up the past, you know, I was just like, man, I can't remember any of that. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was sort of a catch-22, but whatever. You know, hey, he got the fight. Sometimes you just got to be careful what you wish for. You know, it's funny, I, I don't follow collegiate wrestling, but anyone who I talk to about your collegiate wrestling career, they say that you were the bad boy. Uh, as he said, you were a whiner. You kind of looked for shortcuts and things like that. But in your MMA life, you're nothing like that. So w where's the difference? Uh, the difference is that people here like emotions being on your sleeves. Mm. You know what I mean? If I do something and I, I do it, the crowd... Is, is happy for it. You know, I did interviews back then. You can look at my interviews. They're almost the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, I probably talk a little bit more trash because I knew everybody. You know what I mean? If I, if, I know, if I know somebody personally, then I don't mind talking a little bit. You know, uh, but if I don't know them personally, I'm not going to. Um, and, and so that's the difference is that everything I do here is the same attitude that I had in wrestling. The only thing is, is that you're so... They're so dedicated on Iowa or Minnesota or whoever, right? And so whenever I'd go in there, I would try to beat them because I knew that most likely I'm going to face them more than once. You know, most of the time, most, some guys I've wrestled four or five times in my career. 
right? So you're sitting here going, okay, I'm going to wrestle you more than once, but if I can play mind games, if I can get you out of your element, then yes. Yeah. So whenever I'd wrestle that way, they were like, oh, Johnny's a douchebag, Johnny's this, Johnny's this. So everybody on the internet started hating on me. You know, and I'd be like, dude, what? What the hell? I did nothing. You know, and, and I'd be, I'd, I'd do fine interviews, but they would be like, oh, he's just putting on an act. So, realistically, MMA has shown the world who I really am. Good. Have you been impressed with his evolution as a fighter from collegiate wrestler to MMA fighter? Uh, yeah, I have. You know, he's, he's done very well, you know, making it in the top five, uh, you know, and he's ranked third right now in MMA uh, in the UFC. That's a defeat in itself, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I have to respect that. Uh, you can't sit there and not respect it because if it if I don't, it could be a quick night for me. He, he's got good striking. He's got good wrestling. Uh, and I know these things. And I know sort of the way he's fighting from watching a lot of footage. So I know all these things. I Can I execute them? That's why I can't wait. I saw a picture of you. You're looking svelte, unbelievable shape. What's the secret to the success? Uh, the secret? Man, I've been lifting. Lifting hard, you know, shape is easy. You know, I can run every day. That doesn't bother me. But lifting, lifting throughout a camp, you know, a camp is hard in itself. And then you got to throw in weights in there. You know, it, it's been difficult. But, you know, it's also good because, you know, now my body's able to hold water more. And, like, hopefully today it makes life easier. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. How much you weigh right now? Um, 183. Is so, that good? Yeah, yeah. I, gotta, I just got to lose. If I lose... 10 today I don't have to do anything tomorrow all right well good luck with that obviously good luck with the fight as well pleasure as always Johnny thank you so much